we're going to St. Louis. And as you see, we're in the airport. I have no idea where we're going right now. My load is gonna be like, I don't know, I think it's tomorrow sometime. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I guess we'll find out. Currently in St. Louis traffic, I'm just trying to get out of this town. This is what happens sometimes. Things fall apart. Everything went wrong today that could possibly go wrong. So this morning, after we left the hotel, went to Starbucks, got something to eat because the body shop didn't open till 7. So as soon as the body shop opened, I was over there trying to get the truck. The truck didn't have any numbers on it, so we had to get all the numbers put on it. And then when we went to go try to start it, it didn't want to start. After we finally got it started, we then had to return the rental car that I still had. and. That took a little bit of time, and then after that, we had to go pick up this brand new trailer um, from a trailer manufacturer. So now I have that back there. I'm looking for a trailer. Can you just, I can't right now. Cause I'm reading all the numbers and not, if I talk, I'll get distracted. Oh my God, I can't. I gotta, I gotta hook this up. Maybe we can do this after. pick up my load and I am going to probably be an hour late because of everything that happened this morning and the tractor not starting and needing numbers and just uh, everything everything did not go according to plan yesterday and I should have assumed today nothing was gonna go according to plan but no I'm optimistic as I mean it's it's kind of silly how optimistic I am but it also did not go according to plan today. So you wanted reality. This is reality. Okay guys, so I'm in Mountain View, Arkansas right now getting loaded and I realized that I didn't have a chance to show you my new truck that I picked up. So if you want to see that, then you should give this video a like. Anyways, let's see the new truck. This isn't everybody's favorite truck. 
I mean, I like the new Freightliners and everything. It's definitely not my dream truck. I'm hoping someday in the future to get my own truck and I'd really like it to be a W9. So I'm kind of like a Kenworth person. <laughs> I mean, a Peterbilt would be pretty cool too. I just want, I definitely want a long nose. I guess I'm not too picky. I'm just, I'm just happy to have a truck to drive. So I'm actually running out of fuel because I was in such a hurry. So currently I'm, <laughs> I'm on more back roads in Arkansas, which has been so fun. And I'm on my way to a Loves. It's like 80 miles away from here. And I'm on E. down 40 and I have to get fuel because I'm really low um, and then after this I'm probably gonna go down the way to the Flying J after I'm done fueling to get something to eat from the Denny's because there's like there's nothing out here to eat and because I came on a plane I couldn't pack any food or anything in the truck Okay, so I am now 30 miles further west and I've parked at a Flying J for the night. Or, I don't know. I might end up driving a little bit more just because I have more on my clock. But I wanted to just say, I'm not gonna have the plastic on my seat forever. I just, I felt like it was really dirty today. So, I don't know. I just wanted to get seat covers before I took it off. Like I said before, I'm gonna eat at the Denny's if you guys also eat at these Denny's, what do you get? Because I'm, I generally eat a lot healthier and I, I think I get, it's either like a veggie burger or a black bean burger. I heard that they have the Beyond Burger, which I hope is true. Cause if so, I'm gonna get that. Um, and just like, I don't know, veggies and stuff. So. I'm gonna get some good food and probably, probably get down the road some more. So goodbye for tonight and I hope to see you guys in part two.